Today is a test of strength. Do I have the strength to pull these two hemispheres apart? These are called Magdeburg hemispheres. Well, obviously, I can pull them apart pretty easily right now. The trick is pump the air out using this vacuum pump. I attach the spheres together, I turn on the vacuum pump, and I pump out all of the air from the inside. That seems good enough. Now, I remove the vacuum pump. I try to pull with all of my strength. I can't do it. Let's get some teamwork in here. Come on, cameraman. All right, pull. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so you see, it really, really was hard for us to pull these two apart. Why is that? That's atmospheric pressure. The atmosphere around is pushing down on all of us with a pressure of 14.7 pounds per square inch. That means when you look at these particular spheres, that's about 100 pounds of force on each of these spheres, trying to keep them together after we've pulled all of the air out of it. So in 1654, Otto von Guericke made the first Magdeburg hemispheres and also made the first vacuum pump. Back then, it took two teams of horses to try to pull apart those two hemispheres and they couldn't even do it. So how do we pull these hemispheres apart? By letting the air back in. Come cameraman! We pump out the air, we pull, but then we pull the plug and we pump. How does it work? The air rushes back in, same pressure outside, same pressure inside. The hemispheres separate and we take a little tumble to the ground. <laughs>